over this video, you need a function to print the table. I have it inside my utility file and named it put. You can just copy paste this code from my repo and require someone in your init file. It is a common practice to have a set of function for the user to configure the plugin. Let's see how it works by creating a dummy plugin. So I have dummy plugin here and I have dummy folder and the init.lua inside. So the setup function, all it does is if there's a table passed into the function, then set the option to the table. If the argument is empty, set it to the default. So in my init file, I did the setup with no argument. So when we print it, it says default. This time, let's pass in some table to the setup function. Close new of them and reopen it to apply the change. Now it prints user config. When I require the dummy module in my init file, it returned the module and saved it to table package loaded with the module name as its key. So the next time I require the module dummy, it simply returns what is in the package loaded table. So these two are identical. It does not reload the module every time we call require. If you need to reload the module for some reason, then you can set the table in the package loaded to nil. Then the next require call, if the dummy is not found in the package loaded table, it reloads the dummy module fresh and there wouldn't be any user config. As you can see, the first table has the user config, but the second one only has the setup function. You can also see all of the modules that have been loaded by printing package loaded. You can see I have CMP, and somewhere down the line, you can also find Vim API and LSP and a bunch of other things.